What's going on everyone, Nintendo Fanatic 64 coming to you with another new opening video. Today I have the new e X and Y Evolutions Elite Trainer Box. I've been super excited to open this one up. Um, this came out at the beginning of November. Um, what I really like about this one, I've opened up one pack on my own so far, and this is all going to be a throwback to like the very first set, the original face set, which I actually did play and collect when I was a kid as well, so I just can't wait to see a lot of these ones, but um, we're going to go ahead and open this up. I already took the plastic off on it, and what I do like about these, right there, um, if I can find, there it is, with the little covers that they have on it, if you unpeel it there, you actually get all four of the actual cover pictures on there, which are always fun, and Get the glue off of it as much as I can because I hate that. I'll do it later. But, and then, of course, what I like about it with the Elite Trainer Boxes, too, is it also has the Player's Guide, which shows off all the actual uh, Pokemon that are in this set. I'm not going to be looking too much into that because, uh, of course, they have added in some new things into it that, of course, weren't part of the old uh, base set. But we're going to go ahead and switch to our opening camera here. So, get rid of some of these other things. And, there we go. and then in each Elite Trainer Box, in addition to all the packs that it comes with, it comes with a complete set of energy cards, which this one as well, it's a lot different than like the energy cards of today. This looks more like the original classic energy sets as well, which is pretty nice. Um, so I can't wait to use some of those. Uh, it also comes with a pack of... Uh, sleeves, which this one has the uh, Mega Charizard Y on there, which there was also an Elite Trainer Box in blue for the Mega Blastoise. Wasn't able to get my hands on that, but definitely still a nice thing. Of course, it has the dividers if you use the actual um, the box for storing cards, which is definitely nice. It also comes with right there, a set of dice, which has the uh, set symbol as the number one on there for it. And then, of course, it also comes with the burn and poison counter on there. And then, of course, in each one we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs. So we have, let's see here, it's smart. We'll have one of, or two of each type. I'm just separating these out. All right, which it does on there, so that's kind of nice. We have, um, well, you can't remember, I'm not seeing what I'm doing. It has two Mega Blastoys. Two Mega Venusaurs, two Mega Charizards, and then two Raichus. Why they threw Raichu on there, I don't know. But we'll save the Charizard packs for the last. We'll start off with the Raichu packs. And I will be giving out some of these code cards, not all of them, because I do plan on um, redeeming some of these and playing the game and using these in packs myself. So we'll just have to wait and see how this will work. Uh, as far as what I'm looking forward to, I mean, I'm just looking forward to just about anything in here. So, let's see who we have ourselves. Can I adjust this? Whoa. Inception. Oh, there we go. Alright, so let me start off with a Vulpix. We have the Nidoran Man, which felt different from the original uh, Nidoran because, of course, in the original Nidoran, um, they had it as the grass typing instead of a poison typing because uh, they just didn't have a separation of it back then for it. Uh, but it was under a grass typing in the very f uh, base set originals for it. We have a Ponyta. We have the Pikachu. We have a Poliwag. We have the Charizard Spirit Link, which another thing, I like that they actually have um, the classic look for the trainer cards in here, even for newer cards such as the, uh, like this one for it. We have a Charmeleon, we have a Super Potion. Alright, we're starting off strong here. We actually get a Needle King Break. I did not even know Needle King Break was in here. It's got... Let's see, Toxic Drill, two Psychics and a regular. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poison. Put two damage counters instead of one on the Pokemon between turns for it. So I'm just going to read it off. I know it's kind of hard to focus on there for it. Oh, there, kind of see it. And then the rare in the pack is a Arcanine. Definitely still a nice card. I do like the Arcanine for it. And then another thing, it didn't have, like, it has the same art, but I don't think it had the same type of ability or, um... Attack. I know the attack and HP are definitely newer for it, uh, so that's definitely nice. I'm actually going to take this 
break and just toss it back there for now so we can keep an eye on it. So, starting off strong, I kind of like that, you know. I knew breaks were in the set, ah, but I didn't know, like, what all breaks there were. I've seen, like, a Starmie break and a uh, Machamp break, so, and you know what, since we got a break from that, we're going to go ahead and give out this code card for the next pack, so anytime we get something super nice, usually, unless I start getting too crazy with it, I'll probably start giving out the codes for the very next packs on there, but, alright, so let's take a look at our second pack, we center that there, there we go, we have a Ponyta, Nidoran Male, Machop, Growlithe, Pikachu, we have a Pokedex, Poliwhirl, Full heal. We have a reverse foil Arcanine, so reverse foil rare, which always nice. And they changed up how the reverse foils look on these as well, because uh, normally the reverse foils on them have, like, you can see, like, the little fire symbol and whatnot in there. This is just straight foil. I don't know. You can't really tell too much on here, but it's definitely nice. I do like that. And that, ooh, Mewtwo. Um, for the actual rare, what I did, I remember when I was a kid as well, I had a friend who built a Mewtwo deck. It was just nothing but, because um, they kept the attacks the same, I'll actually show it off one more time. Um, has two moves with Psychic and Barrier. And with Barrier, I don't know if we'll be able to read it. Let me, if I get in super close. There we go. So during your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. If one of your opponent, if one of your Pokemon use Barrier during your last turn, this attacking. So that's a new thing that they added. Uh, barrier did not have um, that secondary effect to it. It just had the um, during your opponent's next turn, prevent all effects from attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon. I uh, don't think it had the you know if someone used Barrier last turn, you can't use it again for it. So he would just have like two psychic energy. It had to discard. That's what it was. Um, I think Barrier you had to discard one psychic energy from it, and then it uh, then you can actually use it for it. I uh, never used the Psychic, only used Barrier for it, and it was just super annoying because it was just one of those decks that you could not beat. It was super annoying for it back then. So, going into, that was the last of the Pikachu packs. We're going to do the Venusaur packs now, so let's see if we can ah, get anything good out of this one for it. So, ah, Missed the garbage. Oh well. So doing the tricks, move them around. So we start this pack off with a. Let me center that again. And let's see if we go super in. Add a little. Yeah. And, and just go out slowly. Oh, we'll do it for now. Anyway, we start with a Ghastly. We have a Poliwag. We have a Voltorb. We have a Weedle. We have a Rattata. We have a Metapod. We have a Potion. We have a Venusaur Spirit Link. Reverse foil in the pack is a Weedle, and the rare in the pack is a Dug Trio. So, nothing too fancy there. I think in the first pack I ever bought, I got a Dug Trio as well. So, I remember Dug Trios and B Drills were like one of the most common rare cards that I ever got as a kid for it. So I don't even remember. I even once bought a Japanese pack, and it came with a Dug Trio in it. So,. Always my luck getting the Dug Trios once again. So, starting off with this pack, it's center there with a Seal. We have a Diglett. We have a Poliwag. We have a Sandshrew. We have a Voltorb. De Evolution Spray. We have a Double Colorless Energy. Again, kind of that throwback look for it. We have the Charmeleon. Reverse Foil in the pack is a Seal. And the rare in the pack is, oh my goodness, a Mega Pidgeot EX Full Art. Ooh, what is that move? I, wanna, I don't know if it's going to focus because of how this card is in there for it, but... Oh, that is... Well, let's see, it's... Mox Cyclone for three. You may have one of your opponents... Uh, you may have your opponent switch his or her active Pokemon with one of his or her bench Pokemon for it. So, for 130, it has 220 HP as well. That is nice. I need... I don't know if I have any goods. I... Ah, here they are. I knew I had some lying around here somewhere. I got some nice sleeves. Ooh, I love that. Nice. First time I think I've gotten a full art that wasn't anything out of like the Radiant Collection from all the uh, Generations packs. So, 
definitely going to enjoy that. I thought I saw something shiny as I was putting it down in front of the camera, but wasn't too sure on it. It's very interesting. You can't really tell because I don't have the greatest lighting, but it looks like it has that gold border around it, like a secret rare would used to have for it. But it's not a secret rare. It is the regular one. The only thing, which I'm surprised I haven't gotten any so far, the secret rares, which, by the way, there's the code card for this next coming pack. Uh, the secret rares that are in this set as well are shown up in the uncommon section instead of in the commons and I've seen even like I think it was who was I watching I think I was watching Faint Attacks who actually managed to pull two of the secret rares in a single pack and that still didn't even include like the reverse foil and the regular rare in it so anyway starting off with a polywag we have a Tangula uh, Voltorb Fairy Energy in the classic sense uh, Onyx Coughing we have Professor Oak's Hint we have a Metapod, we have a Reverse Foil uh, Voltorb, and the rare in the pack is a Pidgeot EX. <laughs> okay, well, we got one of each now. There we got, oh, I never thought I would get, you know, the EX for that. I'm just going to go ahead, let's just take a better look at this. It has 170 HP, uh, Mirror Move. If this Pokemon was damaged by an attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does the same number of damage to your opponent's active Pokemon. So not too bad. And then 3 Feather Lance, 80. This attack does 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's actually kind of nice. And I, that sounds like it should be a move. Maybe, you know, 7th generation move. Feather Lance for all the, I would say bird type, but like flying types that are more bird-like. So Pidgeot, um, what else? Um... Pidgeot, Farfetch, Firo, all the Route 1 birds, stuff like that for it. That'd be an awesome move, it's Feather Lance. So. Anyway, so that's another one down, and here's another code for that one. Who would have thought I actually would get not only a Mega, but also the uh, EX that it goes to as well in the same in the same Elite Trainer Box. I am enjoying this so far. This is been so much fun with these. Not only that, but also just the nostalgia of everything. So we got the Psychic Energy, Charmander, we have the Rattata, Diglett, Ghastly, Charmeleon, Super Potion, Slowbro Spirit Link, we have a Reverse Foil Raichu, which is, I'm pretty sure, yeah, that is a rare, um, which is pretty nice. And then the rare in the pack is, oh... Okay, well, I apparently chose, um, Nick, if you are watching this, I am uh, sorry that I've had these amazing pulls, but we just got a Dragonite EX full art. Oh my god, uh, ability pull up, when you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench, you may put two basic Pokemon except Dragonite EX from your discard pile into your hand. And then Hyper Beam, it has uh, four energy, 130 attack, and then discard an energy card attached to your opponent's active Pokemon for it. So uh, you would think with a Hyper Beam, it would like you know force you to discard one um, energy card from your from Dragonite EX, but instead it discards one from your opponent, and you can still use it on your next turn, since Hyper Beam is usually uh, something that takes recharge time for it. Oh my god, I am, you know what, I don't know if this is just luck, I'm just going to keep doing this, handing out the code, as much as I want to use these evolution for myself on it, because I've only kept three, I've given out more than half of them now, just because, I mean, Full art, full art, EX, break. Can I get, can my luck keep going? I don't, I think my luck's going to run out here with this. So, uh, we start this pack off with a Magmite. We have a Caterpie. We have the Rattata. We have the Charmander. We have a Ghastly. We have a Full Heal. We have a Machoke. We have a Switch. Reverse Foil is a Sandshrew. And the rare in the pack is another Mewtwo. So, hey, I can try and attempt to build that Mewtwo deck, except it won't work as well as it did from before. But, um, moving on to our last pack. I don't even care what I get with this one now. These are all been, this has been an amazing pull, you know. Four packs, three EXs, and a break. I will, I will take that any day of the week. And then, oh man. Let's go on to this last pack here. So we start off with a Tangula. We have a Wheel. We have a Sandshrew. We have a Ghastly. We have a Magic Cart. We have a Venusaur Spear Link. We have a Magmar. 
We have a potion, so I can say this. Uh, I did not, I was surprised, but as common as I've been seeing all of those um, secret rares in the set, I did not pull a single one from it, because this is the last of the uncommon cards. Reverse foil in the pack is a neat around, which is, that's another thing I like. They didn't have reverse foils when I was a kid. This was something that, you know, they added, um, I don't know about more recently, but uh, something that they definitely added since then, and it's definitely really nice, because you can get, like, a full deck of rares if you can do it just right for it. The final way in the pack is an electrode. So, like I said, I don't even care about what was in that last pack. Everything I wanted, everything I could have wanted came out of this. I mean, I got three EXs, and two of which were full arts as well. That is crazy. I was not expecting to have that good of luck on this. I was expecting more of the secret rare things, because like I said, I've seen people open them, and it they get more of the secret rares than they do the actual um, anything else into it, but I actually think three EXs, two... Oh my god, I am... What are the odds of that? And uh, I'm just now going to... Now I can spoil it. I'm going to look through decks. See if it talks about the secret rares in this at all. Trying to find them. Uh, no, they don't talk about that there. No, they just talk about everything. And, uh, I don't know. I was not expecting it, but like here, I'll try to show up. These are the five secret rares right there. You can see that's like that Japanese. Um, Executor, um, the Flying Pikachu, Surfing Pikachu, uh, Inukumi's uh, Doduo, and here comes Team Rocket. Those are all the, um, you know, those are all the secret rares, if you will, um, in this set. And then, oh man, so look, I of all the uses I could have gotten, I wish I could have gotten the full art Mewtwo out of that. But you know what? I'm still not going to complain. That was some pretty awesome stuff. I mean. Two full arts. Wow, I am shocked. I, <laughs> I'm still sad. I still have to do another opening video after this one, which won't go up till next week for the uh, Genesect uh, Mythical Box Collection. I know I haven't done Keldeo, but that's because the place I usually go to didn't get Keldeo last month, so I gotta go somewhere else see if anyone still has some available. But uh, thank you all very much for watching this video. Uh, let me know down below. Um, what set did you ever start playing Pokemon with? Were you a base set person? Did you start off in one of the later sets during, like, Black and White? Or maybe you just started more with the X and Y sets for it. And then, um, like I said, we'll be back next week with the Genesect uh, collection, uh, Mythical Box collection. So thank you all very much for watching. Take care and goodbye.